Yeah, Hi everybody. Back, yeah. Could have a picnic. Welcome back to oh. that Our Smiling Faces podcast. <laughs> Question and answer. Q and A. So, anything to add before we start? Aye. No, no. no. Just kidding. Don't want to get started again. What about the sponsors? I'll get wrong. Tell the sponsors. Come on. Hey, are you kidding me? No, I just Jordy, know. Jordy just Gifts and Guillermo. Come on. Jordy Gifts and Guillermo Clothing. Guillermo Clothing. I see you say it really well. Guillermo. I'd, I'd sign him. Does he play up front? <laughs> I'll sign him. Yeah, but he's a left forward. How do you say it? Guillermo. How do you say it? Guillermo. Look at that, man. Look at that, man, eh? Look at that. Roll it. Bit of, bit of roll it. on that. You've got to roll with it. How do you say Joel Linton? Joel Linton. Is it like that, is it? Joel Linton. 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 No idea. Right, so, we've got some questions. He's been sending questions in. and We're going to answer some of them. So, once again, Rafa Fax is in. That's fine, sorry. And he says, get a manager that can get an £80 million a front three working well together. That's the best solution, surely. All it will take is a good coach for Joel Inton, St. Maximum, Almiron, because they aren't bad players. What do you think about that, Decker? Um, I think it's possibly a valid point. Possibly a valid point. Um, Changes his tune, Annie, from... The last podcast. No, but I think if you if you had a real top quality manager, could, could they do better? Probably you don't need a real top quality good. manager. I've told you how to fix it. But I don't know. Get the three of them cl- playing closer together. That's how you fix it. There you go. Just saved your millions. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I just, the question is just like yet again, just banging the same old drum in it. You know, just the same shite. So it's just. Like, who, who do you want then? Like, who do, do you want? Get it? What's he saying? What's Unfortunately, the, the Rafa fact is here is that uh, if if Rafa had still been here, Joe Linton wouldn't wouldn't have been because he didn't want to sign him, or he did, well, sorry, but he didn't want to spend forty million. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. And because he wanted to spend that on three that, players. I mean, Let's be honest. No, no, it's not that he didn't want Joe Linton. He wanted want to spend that money on three players. And I'm saying you can see why. Yeah, the the, the thing that that people put Rondon and, and Rafa <coughs> as a package these days and. and I don't think it's the case. I think Rondon went to China because of the massive yeah. money he was getting. Even if Rafa, was, Rafa had stayed, I don't think yeah, there was Rondon someone in the would ground, have. Uh, like the sit behind, hey, no, the, the lad that sits to the left of me. Oh, God, I'll not go in <laughs> too much on him, but <laughs> the side um, or behind the side. So you sat there. Oh, we should have signed Rondon. Blah blah blah. Yes, we should have, but Rondon wanted one hundred and twenty million pound a week. <laughs> That's why we didn't sell, sign him. It was nothing to do with with anything else other than that massive wage which he wanted. So th- that's what we need to get in our heads as fans. It's not, oh, Ashley this, Charlie this. Fair enough, the, the shitheads, we all know that complete not that toss us. But the reason we didn't sign Rondon was because of the wage he wanted. Picking, picking, choose the information. All, all I ever, ever is it you could have signed Rondon for 16 million. Aye. That's all I ever hear. And I'm like, are you Who fucking real? Didn't sign because he doesn't have a sell on fee. No, it was his wage. And <laughs> was it? if it's right or wrong, yeah. but, but that's why he wasn't signed. It's nothing to do with anything else. I, I totally agree, yeah. Yeah. The, the question sorry he's, not, he's not doing too well in China at the minute is he sorry, so basically it would, would a better coach yeah, do, a, better do coach. a better job of the front three maybe, maybe I, I mean I, I don't know I, I, possibly but but then, then people start saying oh, 80 million pound front three but then people turn around and go Julian that's not worth 40 million yeah, yeah. but oh wait yeah, like <laughs> you, you pick, you're picking thing, well, that's, that's it people pick and choose the, the, the facts or the information that they want to use to suit their agenda what is a 40 million, million pound striker these days what, what uh, who can you think of that? Joel Lennon. Joel Lennon. There you are. That's what I mean. Like, like Jesus. You could not have. I know what you think. <laughs> we've got an absolute like. How much? We've spent a shitload. Look, look, look how minutes. much. It's not that much. Look no. how much West 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 Ham paid for. It shivers Hernandez. Me. It shivers me. I'll be honest. It shivers me. Well, I think forty million on him. And the reason why he costs forty million is is let's age is a massive factor in this one. In in its potential. Do you think there's anything dodgy going on with that one? Yeah, hundred percent. He's yeah. got the same. Pss, he's got the same agent as Saint Maximum. There's some. There's something happening. There's yeah. some backhand that's going on. Like, of course there is. I do. But that's yeah. the way football works. There's no way that. I mean, these with that club must be absolutely pissing, laughing like. And, and look, what, what, look, what, what we've got. Money? What we've got to remember is it's not just a straight up forty million pound fee. It's got to be forty million. Though. It's the well, it won't because he that, yeah, that was based on all of the add-ons of if if he does this, that, and the other. Jesus, he's not getting any Well, at the moment, at the moment. But if he was scoring goals, people would be going, "Oh, that's that's forty million pound well spent." 
But he's not. But he's not. So <laughs> people batter, batter this price tag. It was the same. You were the same with with Jacob Murphy. Well, he spent. He, he's, he cost twelve million pound. I couldn't do that with him. He didn't. He didn't choose to to be transferred that amount. That is how much he was. The transfer fee was agreed with. That was a disaster. Know. Next one. Joe Patterson says, what's your thoughts on Julian on being used as a lone number nine? He's not a lone number nine. Would he not be better suited with a strike partner like Mutu? See, this kid knows where it's at. He's been listening to me. Well done. Listen, I, once and for all, yeah, right. So, <clears throat> I 100% agree that he would be better if Mutu was a front row, right? Well, unless I didn't really prove that. But yes, I agree. Probably yes. Are we going to do I kill? But we can't do it. We can it because we're trying against us. I've got to be 5-0. And Joe Linton was absolutely awful, bearing in mind, yeah. And he put Muto pretty much up with him, let's be fair, pretty much up with him alongside him. He changed formation to go to 4 2 3 1, and Muto would be close to Joe Linton. And Joe Linton was absolutely diabolical. True? But that's only one game, so that's a very small sample. The d- difference is. But we can't change formation from what we've got, because if we do, we'll concede loads of goals. But, the minute the but we don't, is fine. But we don't need to. That, that's, that's why I keep saying is we don't need to, because if when we're attacking. All that has to happen is Almiron and St. Maximum, if they're going to be the other no, 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 two no, no, strikers, no, 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 is bring no, them no, in. No, 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 different no. setup. Here. Yes. So if you're playing two up He's front. He's got front two. That's exactly. He's playing two up front, so what are you doing then? Play three. No, no, but that's not the question, man. The question is playing two, the question is playing two up front. So then if they do that, it's kind of battling what Bruce wanted to play when he first joined. He wanted to play three centre midfielders with two up front. Four two, two, there you go. You want it five in the four back, two, three, five, two, you go three, four one. two three one, don't you? Um, well, it's five three two. Where Bruce wanted to play three centre, three centre halves, your two wing backs, your three in midfield. Hayden was fucking right wing half the time. Well, you three in midfield and your two up front. That's what he wanted to play. Mm-hmm. In that, in fairness, to keep your defence as solid as it has been, it's the only formation you can play. But then, and then me, that, that, that then, you drop and you drop Max. that then gives you that link up from your midfield into your striker, doesn't it? I said because you've time, got a number ten. I said at the time when Bruce came in that maximum technically was a was a, just such a random signing because that's not how Bruce wants to play. Mm. He just want to play with wingers and we'll sign one. But n- so, anybody does play with wingers these days? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. So your mate Jordi Armand sends in. What's your thoughts on Julian? And once again, so it's another Julian. And what's your thoughts on Julian on control just before the red card? I personally think his control was terrible, which put Longstaff in that situation where he's stretching for the tackle. Spot on. We're great. That's what so we said in the last, the last podcast. podcast. But then... I look at I look at Longstaff a, a bit and think we saw first hand what happened to Hayden. Weather conditions were similar. It was pissing during the rain. Let's Sunday. It was lovely and sunny. It was, so it was raining on the pitch. If you look at that bit of the pitch, it's where it stopped raining. Eh? Raining? I'm sure, it was raining. It was, it was, <laughs> it was, it was bloody bloody. It, it was lovely and sunny, man. I just got. Sure, there was rain on that. I saw the replay and there was rain. His we hair's, was, his hair's getting sweet. We were sat outside rain. before the match, man. <laughs> so was it raining after the game? No. Uh, it was. It wasn't. Remember we were doing what body called afterwards. It was, it was raining then. For, listen, for, for was us, it? this is where it's difficult, right? For a young lad. It wasn't in, a monsoon like Lester, let's be honest. In, in, that, in, that, in that, you know, split second of a moment, the ball's there to be won. It's very hard, I think, for you to say. Shit, yeah. man, what happened to Hayden against Leicester? I better go for it. And, hey, I, I said it. I said it for Hayden, and I said it for Longstaff. That is exactly what I want my central midfielders yeah, to be I'm doing. I one. want them to be trying to win a ball and win an attack, going in, in for 50 fifties. Red every three games. Then. I, I know. But that is the, the that is why it's such a stupid rule because it, it stops. But as players, they need to change. It stops tackling in games. I just feel that if he doesn't go for the ball, the fans will be on his back for not getting stuck in. So maybe not, but I, I just feel. No. I, on what that comes I, from, I see yeah. sometimes when a player bottles a 50-50 or they don't, or some in this is fucking hell on. Which is exactly what off. happened when Hayden got sent off. Their player bottled the tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Neil Gr said, "In how long has everyone thought I was Welsh, or was it just a meal?" Oh, I didn't. Even I'm know sure that. you lived in Wales. Have I just made that up? I think I told everyone you lived in Wales. I knew he wasn't Welsh. I, d- I knew he wasn't Welsh, but I thought he lived in Wales. Do you not live in Wales? Does he live in Wales? Do you live in Wales? I'll find out in a minute. I'm sure he lives in Wales. <clears throat> Jason Hobby lives in Wales. Oh, maybe that's who I was thinking of. Well, not a question off him for a while, have we? Uh, I All think right. it was one last week, isn't it? Was, I can't remember. That wasn't there last week. So it was on Jollies. So, with Sean Longstaff out, uh, Hayden back, do we stick with Matty Longstaff and Hayden? Yes. Or rest Matty and give she or Kel- uh, she or 
Shelby. She. <laughs> she. Mm. Key. Shelby. There's too many long stuffs in there. Shelby or Kia chance. I refer to my answer from weeks ago. I never want to see Shelby in a black and white shirt ever again. So we're going with Matty and Had palpitations Hayden. and Hayden cold sweats on Sunday stuff. when he came on. Yeah. Longstaff and Hayden. Yeah. Great. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. I, I worry about... Oh, God. Are you sure? No, I... I you yeah. still don't want Shelby back in? No, no, I, no, I don't know. But I, 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 that midfield doesn't excite us at all, to be honest with you. Hayden, Hayden offers, I think, next to zero going forward. He was the most attacking player at the start of the season, remember? Oh, my right wing. On that right wing. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, Chilcott sends in, do you think that the longer Ashley remains owner of the club, the more fans will walk away over time? Well, this is an interesting one, is it? And I'm, I'm going to say it again. The performances, the points we've got, etc., 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 I wouldn't say there's any real difference than what I've seen last year. Well, points-wise, it's better, to be fair. Mm. But the whole, the, the whole, everything's flat, isn't it? Everything's it's flat. Everything's it's just bubbled up, hasn't it, in one. And that certainly proves what Rafa was. Rafa was the glue, period. 100%. It was, and, we said that for years. And, and now that he's gone, everything is shit. Yeah, Take the lead, it's shit. Bit, Every, everything's shit. No matter what happens. Say maximum takes on five players, it's shit. doesn't matter, shite. It, it's difficult because if one man's left and, 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 and Bruce has come in and, and now you will definitely see more and more not go. And I, I don't even think it's I don't even think it's a case of we're not going because we don't like Ashley. I think it's a case it's, of just yeah. lost belief. And, and that's yeah, that's what that's this. what I was just gonna say. I don't I don't think it's necessarily because of, of Ashley. It's just because people are, are fed up. Yes, he's the ultimate problem yeah, the, there. Yeah, right, yeah. But if results were going different on the pitch and we were win, winning games, then there wouldn't be this this feeling and the amount of people staying away that, that there is now. So yeah. yes, whereby Ashley is the ultimate problem. That is causing a lot of the issues. It would be brushed under the carpet if if things were different on the pitch, which has been the case for the last three and a half seasons. And, and, and I'll flip it completely. And that's because Rafa turned things round momentarily. If exactly, and I hate it, we'll keep doing it every week, don't we? And I said I wouldn't, but if if if, if Rafa was here and it was <coughs> identically the way the season's played out, and I mean identically, the same thing happened on Sunday. There would have been fifty-two thousand there on Sunday, um, and ironically, what I used to find quite often used to happen if we conceded or. We played poorly. The blame was automatically directed at Ashley by the fans. Mm. We're doing shit because we're team shit because you won't spend money. Does yeah. that make sense? It's not Rafa's fault. Subs are fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Now, now, Whereas now, now it's all Bruce's fault. It's all Bruce's yeah. fault. Yeah, I'm with you. And I'm I like, know what you mean. I'm not really, honestly, I'm not seeing that much difference. Some, sometimes I'm not seeing that much difference. And it's all of a sudden Bruce is shite and we'll shite the second half. But I've seen the same performance when Rafa was here. But so when they happened. All there. Well, well, in, in, a, in a way, yeah, I, I, and again, I'll just repeat myself again, is that I've, I've seen we play very, very similar ways at home before on a Rafa, and it's not the players' fault, because the players are trying in a championship squad, apparently. It's not Rafa's fault, because Rafa's Rafa. It's all Ashley's fault, and the fans would just go, get out of our club, it's your fault that we're this shit. But now, it's Bruce's fault that we're this shit. Almost. I think ultimately, sense. ultimately it's still it's still stems. <laughs> it's still stems. It still stems back to the fact of the ownership of the club. Of course it does. And but I'm, yeah, I'm not denying that. That gets deflected from when things are going going well on the pitch. The difference is, is the shit that's happening off the pitch is being matched with what's being served up on the pitch. Well, yeah. I want to go back to what's raining. Definitely wasn't raining, was it? No, Definitely no, wasn't raining. It was raining later on in the night. It might have been. It might have been I, can't, I honestly can't recall before. Cams, why did I... I'm sure I've seen the video and he's like, yeah, he's been yeah. sweating. Well, he's he sweating. Like, his hair's hard. And I'm sure what he got. Was it not a bit missed? It was probably wet because there would have been water in the pitch at half time and, and stuff exactly. like that, weren't there? But we was we were sat out before the game, yeah. drinking in the pub, drinking outside in the. Uh, I, it was cold, but like the sun it was, was out. A bit chilly, but we're sitting outside in the sun. I don't think. I'm going to look at that video. And then we're no, in I, the. I, I agree. His hair did look soaked and wet, like. But it's not, it wasn't raining. Perhaps it wasn't raining. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps it was you wet. You might just went and got a drink. Wet, <laughs> wet look gel. Do you know what I mean? You might have went over and got a drink. Pour out easy. He was using that red bill, brill cream. Right, so next question. Patrick sends in. Favourite biscuit, wrapped and unwrapped. What favourite biscuit, biscuit, wrapped and unwrapped? Blue ribbon is a biscuit. Yeah, it's a so biscuit wrapped, isn't it? Biscuit wrapped. wrapped. Biscuit wrapped. Blue ribbon. My uh, old gold bar. Oh, gold bar. Gold bar. Gold bar. Gold bar. I'm going right, to say... He's got something in his pocket here. Have, what have you got in that pocket? going on here? Right, so Mark's got something in his pocket. Have <laughs> <laughs> you been farting this thing? He's throwing a vibrator or something with him. That'd be a fucking Pokemon catcher or something. But like, I'm on edge here because I'm, like, I'm really like nervous of what he's... Stop it! <laughs> Every time Stop me! Put your hands on the table. I just... Oh. Put your hand there and just don't move. There you go. There's something... Fine. What is it? 
No, right. Uh, right, so... I'm thinking, I'm thinking of me biscuits. Wrapped. You probably I'll tell you what I like. Off, a fox, a fox's classic. Lush, absolutely. All right, okay, right I like them. I've not so, one for a while. Unwrap, we're talking like a like a unwrap. So you're like talking a like a, a bourbon or a rich tea or something like that, aren't you? Those oh. kind, where it comes in a big packet, and you just open it. It's got biscuits oh, in. Oh, chocolate hard, no. Oh, that's a good good show. That's go really boring, right? But I love this biscuit because it's a great dipper. Fig roll. Mm. I love right. a fig roll. I, I don't mind them, like yeah. Wouldn't be the first time I this, like, but I, I won't give it. So tired I'll take up a fig roll. Yeah. Uh, have tea or coffee. You know. Along the same lines of, of, as you, but a, a chocolate oaty bix. All right, yeah, cool, yeah. yeah. Do, what I do like is the chocolate Very similar. with the caramel in. Oh, I haven't run like them. A sandwich? Kind of. Oh, but, uh, but Cadbury's fingers, they're nice as well, aren't My goodness, unbelievable. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, Keith Downey, we heard earlier a day from one source that Newcastle have been in talks with Strasbourg over the whole midfielder, Abraham, and that's a so told the figures 10.5 million. Just, just, well, sorry. It's, it's, it's October. <laughs> um, at least we're making positive moves for the, the January transfer <laughs> window. I'll be done for the summer then. <laughs> yeah. um, so, I, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey. ah, it's a good shout that, like. Oh, Gar- Garibaldi's are nice as well, aren't they? Right, so Marty Lawrence sends in. We met Marty. We did. We saw Marty in the, in, the, in the Berry on so Sunday says, after the game. It would appear that internet stores are in huge demand for reality shows Is that us? these days. He says... Years, <laughs> It's really annoying now because it's know. everything. It's he really says, off. any chance we might see one of you in the jungle chewing on a kangaroo's dick? <laughs> Decker. Um, no. If anyone's chewing on a dick, like it's going to be Decker. you. 100%. <laughs> Me? Chewing yeah. on a dick? You're always chewing on dicks. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jordan Morris says. I did it, Jordan, so I was 30. Did you? <laughs> I'd go on the circle. Like I quite enjoyed that when that was on the other week. Why well, so you can terrible. hide yourself? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> hide my yourself. I last watched that every night. The biggest it, pile. It of was. Shit. It was surprisingly terrible. Good. I liked it. I don't really like shit like that, but it was I quite enjoyed that one. Did watch it. So yeah, Jordan Morris says, "Did you get all the spider webs out of Mike Ashley's wallet?" <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've we've gone for a whole Halloween this this Looks year. Good, so to be fair, isn't it? Aye. Looks good. Well, there's, there's, it's a bit like my seat in the Platinum be, uh... Club, you know, when I turn up. Cobwebs are all over it. Cobwebs are all over it. Just whack some paint on it. There'll not be cobwebs in there now, because he's, obviously, as we've, we've just been discussing, spent 80 million on front three. There's still cobwebs in it. <laughs> Dan oh, Humphrey says, there, I like that. we'll be able to score more than one goal in a game this season. Well, yes. We're struggling in mind. We will, we will. We're struggling to get two shots on Tell target. Him. We will. Yeah, if, if I'm an inter-friendly against what one in our 23s, we might. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. I'll yeah, take one nil wins for the rest of the season. Exactly. I'm not going to happen. Definitely not. Yeah, Callum Lewis says, uh, could you see Dwight Gale and uh, say Maximum uh, being a good partnership? And would you drop Almiron and Joe Linton for the next home game? So we we mentioned this when when Mark was on the toilet there when we had a <laughs> break from the last one. <laughs> if Dwight Gale is the answer. I'm str- but it's a question. Yeah, I'm struggling <laughs> with this. Like, I'm struggling it, it, to see. He where struggles with those ones as well. Fits into this. But where's all where's all this sudden love for Gale come from? No idea. Everyone's going get Gale on, get Gale on. Is it one of them scenarios where just because he's not on, oh, when Gale comes back, we'll be. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Sometimes I, there's a phrase someone said before: when a player's not playing, his stock grows mm. when he's not on the pitch. Yeah. You didn't want Gale on. You, you, like never, you never liked Gale, though, did you? Uh, right. So in, I, in the Premier League. So, yeah. In the, I've always said in the Premier League, no, I said championship, you'd be the first yep. team on team sheet every single day. Class. Premier League, I've, I've always struggled to to, to see. He's, he's never been he's never been prolific in, in the Premier League, but he still he still scored goals he when he was still, at West Brom and stuff like that. He score the goals, but how are you, like... It, yeah, I agree. I, I agree. It's a, he's a different. He's a, to he's a different option, isn't he? Yeah, Muto's been completely. Everyone's going gil, 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 gil. Muto's never pitch. had a shout. Well, that's it again. It's because we haven't we haven't got to see anything from Muto yet because he's never been given the. But we'll go back to the point the times. where they're striking options off the bench, other than Carroll. They're the same player. Yeah. I think that, that like. Yeah, but, but Mudo's got a uh, sorry. Gale's got a bit more pace than so others, so hasn't he? To get in behind. Sorry? So, so they're all like the small, tricky, like quite pacey players. Uh, yeah, but what, what, what do you... What? No, so so yeah, I what agree you, that you need one of those players. Yeah, but I'm you, saying we've got two of those. Well, but yeah, we, but we, we don't. We don't but the yeah, problem but is, is we two, don't. We don't play the strengths of... We don't play to the strengths of those so players. I would say we've got Gale, Mutu and Almiron, who, who are similar sort of players. It, what's that two? Is that two a winger these days? Uh, yeah, I, 
I don't think so. Almiron the same maximum. I, I class Saint Almiron and uh, Atsu is the same. I, 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 then I class Gale, Carroll, Joe Linton, Muto. As, so what, as be, the four. what would Perez have been classed as last year? Would he been classed as a winger because he's sitting in the same position as what Almiron is? Um, yeah, possibly. Yeah, I, That's I, what I mean. but I wouldn't class him as a saint. Like, I, 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 no, no. I so, mean, so so I would put Perez in the same bracket as what. Gale and Mutu would be. Yeah, I probably would as well. Yeah, yeah I would. And nah, nah, because they're more they're more strikers. Perez was different sort of players. Perez, you know what it is? Perez is doing. Sorry, was doing the role that Joe Linton should be doing this this season. That link up play between midfield well, and, and strike. So. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hate it. Oh, he frustrated us. Jesus. He frustrated us. Now that he's bagged a hat rig, he thinks he's the best thing ever. I couldn't care less. I, I could have scored two against them. That you couldn't care less. Yeah, right. So Daryl like, Mitchell says the Chronicle were getting a hard on about that as well. By the way, I was sick of it. But it's oh, it's look, a hat-trick. It's the same as Mitrovic. He left with. He was scoring goals. Ah, oh, look, he scored another one. Who fucking cares? He doesn't play for wet anymore. <laughs> Stop harping on about it. Right, Daryl Mitchell says, how do we solve the problem of our goal shy front three? If Carroll is unavailable, we can't really make a change without changing our attack and dynana- dynamics, which is what we mentioned earlier. Uh, Gale isn't a natural holder player, and we've struggled to retain possession and play our way through teams. We only have one natural holder player. Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll. But... We're insisting on playing Joe Linton as a, as a hold up player when he's not one. Well, <laughs> get the ball into his feet, get people in and around him to allow him to pass the ball and get some support up there, and you'll see a totally different player to what you're seeing now. That's the last I'm going to see on it. So, no, well, you're not because I've got another question. I'm not answering um, it. Liam Willis <laughs> says, but Do you think current, the current criticism of Joe Linton? Is fair. He costs forty million pound, and his touch looks like that of a four pound player. That's that's honestly where I'm where I'm struggling. And I, look, look, again, I'm going to say it not sarcastically because he'll have a go. I do feel sorry for. I do in terms of the service. I totally get he doesn't get service, but he has to be doing better, man. He's hold up play shit. He's work rate shit. It's just shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. He could work harder. I'll give you that. I, I, honestly, I, I just for for that type of money. I honestly think he should be a damn sight better. We should, we should be saying, sorry, we should be saying better than what we're saying. So I think even if you asked him, he'd say that. There was an article... But it's like saying, it saying like, we'll take you out of your job and go and employ you as a bricklayer. Or are you going to go and make lay not, bricks? It's not the same. It's of course it same. is. It's not the same. If you put Willems up front, that, 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 that is... Still a footballer? No, no, that's completely... Put Dumont up front. That's so different. This kid is still a striker. He's still a forward. He's still a forward... <laughs> And for me, he can't yeah. even. He can't even. He's made of a lumber jack. I true. I'm gonna work now. Um, he can't trap a ball, man. He's <coughs> slow as fuck. He's so slow. Like even even oh crikey, even if it wasn't a hold up game and we actually yeah. played him in, I don't think he'd get the ball anyway. I think he'd get caught. I really do. I really do. And then you go back to service. Go back to chance against Norwich. Cross back post five yards out wide. Like what 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 what, what is he then? We'll give you an open goal pretty much from five yards out wide. So, oh yeah, man, oh yeah. I only try and call what I see, and it's just, at the moment, it isn't good enough. It isn't good enough. Really does like him, does he? So, and I want him to do well. I do want him to do well. I we'll do. end on this one. Which Newcastle player, past or present, is most like a ghost who goes missing in games? Why not? Why not? You deft! Yeah. Especially with Wait, are you away from home? Away from yeah. Christ, he was terrible. Um, terrible. Uh, uh, Perez first half of the season? Craig, he was bad. Like, oh, no, he was wasn't. Bad. Oh, he wasn't. He wasn't bad. <laughs> Goof up, he was brilliant. He well, was fantastic. He didn't want the ball. You really didn't like Goofran, did you? Had to get that in there. I hated Goofran. Shelby, think, Shelby think, for me. I think Sissoko was one of them, like... To be honest, yeah, okay. Now he went missing yeah, in games when he couldn't be asked, could he? Yeah, a lot. Um, any more? Yeah, to be fair, you could probably see a Shelby as well. To be fair, you probably could. Shelby, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So, Shelby current, I would say. Callback, nah, uh, I actually, I actually still don't think he was as was that bad as people say. To be honest with you, I don't. Henry Surveyor's a current one because God knows where he is again. He's, fucking, he's like a ghost, isn't he? God, he Nobody's ever seen him. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, that's the thing, is he's not. Well, he Whenever he played, he looked... He looked. Uh, he was, yeah. he was like, even on the, um, the squad photo one. He Unfortunate, isn't it? God. 
It's ridiculous, isn't it? I think like how bad someone must be. You can't get anywhere it near. It can't be that bad, can't be. Well, well, it's not. It's not that. It's just obviously we couldn't name. We had too many people in the squad, didn't we? And I mean, I, I said at the time that Clark was the the odd one out for me. That but he's came in the last couple of games and he's done done he's very already, very well. He's, he's done That's very what well. Confident with like we can kind of lose a defender, and we still look as comfortable yeah. out yeah. the back. To be fair, Bruce said that in his press comments on Friday. Um, that that it's that one position where we're totally blessed yeah. that we'll lose two. We we'll lose two and be out. Do mm. you know what I mean? Um, but I think we've got what, we've we've lost two, but well. we've still got them um, and we've still got Dummett that could come in. But yeah. so that's why for it's me, so that's why I was saying. Clark could be the one to miss out because we had more than enough. Are you a little bit worried? Cover at the back. The being back so quick again. Oh, did you see him last night? I know. I know. I know. I know. And that's the only the under 23s, but he fucking he's he was human, he was man. bossing he's it, wasn't human. he? He's great. I love I, him. Absolutely I, love him. I, I, I know you do, and I do as well. But I just feel, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like what's the just didn't rush it like yeah just yeah, yeah. Like, well there's no know. there's there's no need to rush it, is yeah. there? We're, no. we're, we're really stuck in that position, and we're not conceding goals for fun. I mean, we've conceded two or something in the last four. I don't know. Chelsea won, wasn't it? Man United won, won there. We're not conceding many goals. <laughs> conceded 12 before. <laughs> let's well, let's yeah. not mention <laughs> Leicester Five and Norwich. Norwich. <laughs> was, was there a little Norwich ball one? No, three. Um, three. But that was only because of fucking... Other than Norwich. that, though, we've, we've been very tight. <laughs> well, we didn't concede any against Spurs. One against Arsenal. That's all, no. One against, against Wolves. If, we could if it wasn't for fucking Dubravka, I keep throwing the ball in these. <laughs> Jesus, that was shocking me, man. It was shocking that. Like. I'm uh, sorry, mate. That was a joke, by the way. I still love him. Right on the back of signing a contract yeah. extension as well. Wait, we didn't mention in the last one, though, that he, 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 he cocked up in the first half as well when he parried a shot straight at one of their players, but thankfully it didn't come to anything. Do you know what really annoys me? Is that when a player signs a contract extension, the first thing the Newcastle United fans do... He's only signed a contract extension. <laughs> oh, money. Yeah. This is, happens at every oh, single club. Honestly, this is why God. he has... It like extend the contract this, this is what happens the, the, there'll, there'll be a buyout in the contract the big surprising thing for me though was is that he's 30 year old and we're giving him a 6 year contract he's a keeper anyway. and I know he's a keeper goes on it? for longer but it's still a that's a big old contract that's but like it, it just it? really annoys us that, that sentence that follows it so, it's just oh well done like God. it's not congratulations is it because we're going to be selling you in the next couple of years. It's just, it rises up the But world. again, as like Dick, I was saying before, if Rafa was still here and he was getting a six month contract, oh, that's brilliant business. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant business, that. Have, I'm sorry, I have to say something else. How bad was it that when Bruce said, oh, we've unearthed a gem here, like we've unearthed. <laughs> And he got slagged off. You were talking about the club? Uh, yeah. Fuck off, man. <laughs> you were talking about the club? Like, honest to fuck. You're going to get that You're really, going to get called a Bruce apologist I didn't care. again. <laughs> I didn't care. I honestly didn't care. <laughs> he if can't you, do anything right. He, on the can't, he can't do anything. If you kind of say a weave, what's he meant to say? Like? <laughs> You'll have to hint you know what? He, he could, Steve Bruce could honestly. give a million pound to charity tomorrow and somebody would still, the, the people will still be uh, slagging him off. Oh, he's only doing it for a tax fiddle. <laughs> it's, it's, I think honestly it makes me look embarrassing to be honest with you it's embarrassing, when, when, look, it's embarrassing. everybody knows he's not the greatest manager in the world of course yeah. but every single person is in agreement is some fucking slack. No, not a single Newcastle <laughs> fan wanted him as a manager let's be honest we didn't but he's here let's not jump on his back over a sentence which he I said I know that's man. what I mean it's ridiculous honestly it drives us up the wall well we get into trouble for defending him don't we but by, know, by giving like, him a chance if surely the, how come if the tactics are bad yes if the substitutions nice. are bad yes Slim. if the training's yeah. bad yes if you're saying that we've won for gem meaning the fucking club has unearthed it <laughs> Oh, it's ridiculous, man. But the, but the, the training is bad because the lads are just having a laugh in there. They're not training. He's doing old-fashioned training. That's why we're getting so many injuries. There's oh, so many problems. Well, it, uh, my favourite my favorite in the summer was like, oh, he's got the players doing double training sessions. Like, which which manager does it? This is it. And someone just copy and pasted the same thing from Rafa last season in Ireland. Players doing triple training sessions. I'm yeah, like, away. Like, every, mm. every, it's just, especially pre-season. I'm sick of it. I, I am, I am. Really we're, st- we're, we're stuck with him. Just, just fucking get on with it. But that's fine. But again, though, as what he said, if if you don't like him, then that's that's absolutely fine. Just, God, I don't yeah. want to sleep with the bloke. But I mean, sure. But I'm not. I'm not going to like hang on every word he says and go like that's wrong. Like yeah. we've you weren't here when we got him. That is that is embarrassing. If that's your attitude, that is absolutely embarrassing. And oh, another one I've seen as well. Sorry, no, about Bruce. This. What was your thoughts when there was a applause for Longstaff? What was your thoughts on that? Go off. Yeah, people clapping. When he got sent off. Yeah. Did, you, did you have any problem with it? Sorry, that's yeah. what I mean. Not at all. Well, I, I, I applauded. I was like, hey, fair enough, mate. I'll, you know, you, you're trying your best. Yeah, well, it wasn't a malicious tackle. People were all over social media. What were clapping them for? It's a fucking joke. I was like, oh, this, this, these fans and this fucking club drive me up the wall. 
it was like a, a non-event for me. I, I just, I thought, just oh, feel like I can't people, remember if I clapped him off or not. I people just want to have a go. Like, well, they just want to have a go for everything, man. Everything. And it's uh, what we're supposed to do. Boom! And it's and exactly it's, what you meant to do. Well, yeah, if you're an Arsenal fan, <laughs> yeah, that's true. what you got to do, innit? We uh, we genuinely. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly thought when McClatchy thought John is actually good on it. I, I thought it was actually quite good from the fans. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I thought. To be fair, I, I, I might have because I, I like I say I at did, the time man. I don't believe it was a a red card. I think it was very very harsh decision. It, it, and again, it's not a stupid one, is it? It's not like you're not stamping on someone. someone. Yes, it's not a daft one. He's, he's made a genuine attempt to try and win the ball in centre midfield. He hasn't Fair gone, and, and as I, like I said before, he hasn't gone gone in studs up trying to go through the player. It's his momentum that's carried him across, and his legs gone off. He's a, he's a young it's lad. a complete accident. He's a fucking young lad trying to, like you know, learn his trades. Yeah. And I thought by the fans clapping, it was kind of like him going, "Oh, it's damn really like we're not gonna yeah, yeah. like we do with most people, stab you in the back and fucking hit you for life." It's like you know, it's all the you best. Like, you know, you learn, and I, I thought honestly, he must have thought actually, that's fucking canny them, like because I've been sent off, I've let the team down. Yeah. I've, well, I thought even Bruce like almost a go, kind of gave him a little bit of a like a a pat kind of thing. They commiserate them for getting getting sent off kind of thing. Whereas normally, for a red card, you see the the managers almost ignore them kind of thing, yeah. don't they? Well, I I just sorry for the rant there. I just it just pisses us off. I'm sorry. Right, done. See you later. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye. Love you. Bye.